Hey guys, it's Eric with the Miller Park Minute coming at you with yet another video. Uh, it's not the on deck video. Uh, that is still in the works. I have not finished editing that, so that will be out sometime tomorrow or Tuesday. Uh, but this story came up after on deck. Uh, one of the few stories that I'm going to cover here. So uh, first of all, we're going to throw some strikes and get some likes. So... Ryan Braun discusses future. Will Ryan Braun play after this season? Uh, so Ryan Braun was interviewed today, as everybody was. Uh, Ryan Braun made some comments to say that he doesn't know where he's going to be. As we all know, Ryan Braun's contract extension expires after the 2020 season. Uh, so I'm just going to kind of read his quote here and take it for what it is, I guess. Uh, I don't take for granted this could be my last year of playing baseball, Braun told reporters. It is definitely a possibility. He elaborated when he asked if he contemplated retirement after the 2020 season. We'll see how this year goes, see where I'm at physically. Obviously, my family is my top priority, so we'll see how everything's going then. Um, I think this goes without saying that Ryan Braun's body is not in the shape that it used to be. Ryan Braun is not in the shape they used to be. Ryan Braun is an all-time great for the Brewers. Like him or not, he is, he goes on the Wall of Fame. He is honorable mention in every conversation of the great Brewers. Um, I don't think you can't not put him up next to Yount Molitor. Love the guy, hate the guy. I can tell you, I will recall the story of when Ryan Braun got called up and how I got to meet Ryan Braun for you real quick, in case I haven't told this story yet. Uh, so Ryan Braun got called up on my birthday. Uh, I happened to be at a game, I want to say it was a few weeks later. Uh, it was a cold night. He had, he had hit really well. Uh, and a couple friends told me he'd be or players usually go out by the fence at, towards the end of the game. You got to wait around a little bit, but you can catch players. Uh, so I did. I met Ryan Braun. Ryan Braun, being a rookie at that time, was super nice. Stopped for everybody, signed everybody's. Uh, he signed my jersey. He signed a couple of people's extra items, balls, and things like that. He was a really nice guy. Um, I've had several experiences with Ryan since. Uh, last year at On Deck, my wife caught a selfie with him. I was able to manage an autograph ball. Um, he's always been decent to me. I've heard different stories throughout. Um, but it kind of, you know, this is a brewer that's been with the organization for a long time. And this one's going to sting a little bit. I, I don't care who you are or what side of the fence you are. Uh, it's going to be weird to not see Ryan Braun in a brewer's uniform going forward. Uh, just to give you an example, Ryan Braun has really, really kind of been all over. Uh, he doesn't play as much as he used to. Last year, he actually played more games than he did in 2018. Um, but he's getting old, guys. He's hurt. And uh, we're I think we're going to see less and less of Ryan Braun. And maybe if he, he extends, he might extend for a year or two. But I, I think just by the way, the sound of that comment and the, the tone that I got from that, he might just hang it up. <clears throat> Ryan Braun's best season was 2007, where he had 324. He played 113 games. I believe he was a May 25th call up. Like I said, I think it was my birthday he was called up. Um, you know, after that, 320, uh, 11, obviously, 332, 319, and 12, 298. And it, it goes down from there. I mean, he's still he's still one of one of the Brewers greats. It doesn't matter how you slice it. Uh career home run totals, you know, obviously the best for home run hitter. Or well because he's been there, you know, and had the most time. And it, it just, it's going to be a hard one to see. I, 
I'm not a I'm not a Ryan Braun lover. Uh, today I did purchase the the new new logo shirt with Ryan Braun on it, but that's just because I felt that that was like, you know, everybody's gonna have Yelich. So uh, speaking of that, on deck today was great. Uh, I got to meet some meet some players, see some players. Uh, that stuff is all coming. There's a a ton of content. Uh, Got to got to speak with Sophia Minner, my son, first on deck. So it's gonna be it's a little different on deck story than it was in the past, uh, because a lot of the experience was my son, and so there's it'll show you the kids' angle if you're a parent or if you're a kid yourself. You'll get to see the uh, the kids' angle of it. It's really cool. Uh, I got to meet a lot of nice people uh, who watch these videos. So if you're out there and you said hello to me today, thank you for that. That really made my day. Um, I look forward to uh, a lot of stuff coming. There's a lot of videos that are in the works. So be patient with me. They're, they're coming through the upcoming weeks. One other interesting uh, thing, if you guys go to Twitter and you see Mark Antanasio's comments uh, about the team and about overspending, and he's not saying that he's, he's done, but he doesn't want to mortgage the team for the future, i.e. the Chicago Cubs. He doesn't want to be left in a position to not make moves. Um, and that was really interesting to see. So if you do get a chance to go look at that video on Twitter, there was another video that came out. Again, these are just interviews throughout the day. Uh, Lorenzo Cain talking about his injuries and how he finally didn't get on track until almost December. Um, and he's going to do a maintenance shot in his thumb, uh, his knee, and his ankle are feeling better uh he's done a lot of strengthening strengthening exercises on that so that's really good to hear um he looked like he was doing good he had that signature lorenzo cain smile on his face so i think we'll see good things from him this year i think he'll be back to form i think that's about all i got right now like i said i got a lot more to talk about a lot more videos uh i think later this week I am getting together with Scott Larson, and we are going to do a little Brewers chat. So look forward to that uh, on the hashtag truth. If you don't know what that is, go look him up on Facebook. Uh, he's a very good podcaster, and he's he's very interesting. Uh, check out my other videos for uh, the upcoming, like I said, the Brewers on deck. Uh, there'll be some other content and pictures that'll be shared on my Facebook and Twitter and Instagram accounts. So go check those out like those. As always, guys, thank you for watching the Miller Park Minute. You have a great day. And go Brewers. Thank you for watching the Miller Park Minute. Go Brewers.